I have done just about every bad thing that you could possibly do to your hair. It has been fried, dyed, and laid to the side, but I was able to restore it each and every time. So in this video, I'm going to share with you the nine tips that you can use to restore the health of your hair. Because let's face it, I've had to restore my hair more times than I'd like to admit. Begin with moisture training your hair. So this is basically moisturizing your hair properly so it gets used to having ample moisture and is trained to absorb it. It sounds complicated, I know, but I promise you it isn't. It's almost like when you heat train your hair, but without the damage. It's just a matter of having a routine that adds moisture to your hair and using techniques to help retain it. After a while, your hair will get used to this and start easily absorbing moisture and retaining it. So if you're curious about how to moisture train your hair, this video that just popped up, check it out. And if there is no video that is above my hand right now, that means I'm still making it and stay tuned. Get blood work done. Blood tests are used to make sure no deficiencies are present. I had no idea that I was losing hair until I got blood work done and found out that I had a hormonal disorder. Like, what? So that's why my hair is falling out? So once I found out what was going on, I figured out how to help my body heal and return to its optimal health. So my hair is currently following suit, but none of this would have been possible had I not had a healthy body. That's usually the first thing I suggest when people say that their hair is falling out or not retaining length, is to try to find the root of the cause. Sometimes the best way to treat your hair is from the inside out. Before I go, we have to show some love to our last video shout out challenge winners. That goes to Sable111, Kita's Coils, and Faith Banks. Thank you so much for participating. And if they have any content on their channel, please show them some love and let them know that Jim Natural sent you. Uh, it's actually Sable 7-Eleven, your bad, uh, but Charlene Charleston wrote, I made a video called 10 Underrated Black YouTubers and Jillian was definitely in that video. Keep up the amazing work. Aw, thank you Charlene for the love. And Charlene also has a YouTube channel with a bunch of content on it, so please head on over there and show her some love. Now with all that being said, let's get back to the video. Adapting to a healthier lifestyle. So speaking of health, adapting to a healthier lifestyle overall is an amazing way to restore the health of your hair. Now, if you're giving your body what it needs, you're eating well, you're exercising, you'll be promoting blood flow and circulation throughout your entire body, and that includes your scalp. So this encourages your hair to grow. Speaking of encouraging hair growth, biotin supplements are wonderful for your hair, skin, and nails. This helps promote growth and thickness in your hair. And I started taking these supplements when I was transitioning and I noticed my hair began to grow like wildfire. All of a sudden, I had kinks and coils that seemingly came out of nowhere. This stuff works wonders for me and when I was, especially when I was growing out my damaged hair. Jamaican black castor oil is also a great item to help promote hair growth. Now this oil creates a viable environment for your hair to thrive. I noticed that my hair was becoming stronger and thicker and it is wonderful to massage onto your scalp. Jamaican black castor oil is wonderful to help regrow edges. Just massage the oil onto your problem areas once a day. Determine if you need a protein treatment. Does your hair feel super soft and almost sponge-like? If so, then you may need a protein treatment. Protein is vital for the strength of our hair. A protein treatment could be as simple as an over-the-counter product, or you could just throw an egg in your deep conditioner and call it a day. That is exactly what I have been doing for years. Hey, but aren't you supposed to be a vegan though? Avoid direct heat and chemical processing as much as possible. Now some people can get away with it. Some people can add heat to their hair and kill all these types of chemicals and still flourish 
and some can't. If you find yourself on the unwanted end of that spectrum, cut down on these as much as possible or just stop doing them all together. When your hair needs repair, these are the last things that you want to do. These processes can be extremely harmful depending on your hair. Personally, my hair can't take them, but if you just have to do them, please find a trained and trusted professional to do it for you. Wear low manipulation or protective styles. So if we give our hair what it needs and just let it be, it will grow. Almost like a farmer who plants crops in the ground. He's not gonna plant it and then dig it up to see if it's growing. Actually, that would be stunting the growth or killing the crop altogether. So patience is key. Now, I know that word can be triggering, but it really is essential and it gets easier as you go on. So let your hair just be by using protective or low manipulation styles. Now, these styles do have similarities, but there is one key factor that distinguishes them from one another. So low manipulation styles are ones that you don't have to restyle your hair every day, hence the low manipulation manipulation and you don't run the risk of unnecessarily breaking while you restyle. Now a protective style on the other hand has those same attributes only your ends are covered and protected. Usually people will just tuck their ends kind of into themselves just to protect them from any damage or drying out. Honestly I like low manipulation styles a little bit better they're more of my style but if I need to protect my ends protective styles it is. Get a healthy hair regimen in order. This is essential for the health of your hair and you'll need to find out exactly what your hair needs so you'll know which products to buy and which ones to stay away from. Now if buying the right products sounds like a scary and daunting thing, then click on this video on the screen. It'll tell you exactly how to find the perfect products specifically for your hair. So as always, thank you so much for watching. Stay inspired, stay empowered, and stay beautiful. Peace.